In this short video, we will show the proper cleaning procedure for the LE400 sensor. Before we begin, note the sensor voltages, particularly the extinction voltage, which can usually be seen in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Power off the unit and detach the sensor cable. Depending on the unit, we may need to also remove the sensor from the system to have access to the sensor. With the AccuSizer SIS system, we can simply remove the tubes from both sides of the sensor to have access to the sensor. When using the AccuSizer AD or APS, we'll need to remove the sensor completely from the system. Remove any residual water from the flow path, either by using a syringe or using another clean air source. Please use only the cleaning kit provided by PSS, which includes the floss in the cleaning solution. Before we begin, I'm just going to give the sensor a quick clean. And this is something you should know how to do anyway, for when you need to clean the sensor on some kind of a regular basis. Hopefully you can just pull out one of these strings, unless they're all clumped together. So I've removed one strand of the cleaning cloth, and you'll see that it is asymmetric. Down here at this end, it is thicker at this part. And what I'm going to do is wet that part of the cleaning floss. This bottle comes with your system. This is the cleaning fluid. And I'm just going to wet that with the cleaning solution. Get it nice and wet. And then what I'm going to do is draw this down through the sensor. So I take this end, which is closer to the thicker part of the floss, feed that down through the sensor. And after I feed it through the bottom of the sensor, I'm going to pull that through and we'll go back and forth to wet and clean the sensor. Here I am going back and forth bringing it to one side and then the other side. And what we're doing is cleaning the internal surfaces of the sensor and also getting it wet, which is a good way to begin using the system. Upon completion of the cleaning procedure, we need to flush the sensor. So reattach it to the system and flush DI water through the system to remove any residual cleaning solution. After flushing the system, check the sensor voltages again. The extinction value should be back up near 10 volts. Remember, you can always see the original voltage levels on the service code on the side of the sensor. 